What's going on there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. In today's Terminal Tip, I am going to teach you how to block access to a specific website. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not like parental control. This will not access, or this will not prevent access to a specific category. Say I couldn't block all of the internet's pornography, but I could block a specific website if I so wanted to. So let's say my kid is wasting so much time on Facebook and I need him to get off. He's always on, he's wasting his time. I tell him to get off and he doesn't do it. Now, theoretically, you could get parental control software. And there's actually some built into Macintosh OS 10, but I found that Apple's parental control software is really lousy. I Googled Abraham Lincoln the other day while that parental control software was on, and it blocked access to Abraham Lincoln on Google. So, I mean, Apple's has never been really that good. There are tons of options out there that are really awesome for parental control. The problem is with parental control, it's oftentimes expensive, but the most frustrating part is it's really taxing on the computer. You'll notice a huge decrease in performance and speed because it keeps a gigantic cache and it stores these big logs and it's always running. And so you will notice usually a pretty significant downtime or you know, you'll notice longer load times on your computer and it is very annoying when really you just want to protect your kids and you are at a detriment as well because your computer is being slowed down. So this this doesn't, again, and I emphasize this enough, this is no replacement for parental control software. It doesn't block a whole category, but it will block sp uh, websites that you define. So let's say my kid spends way too much time on Facebook. I want to get him off. Get off of here. All I need to do is open terminal and you can do a spotlight search for it. Just type T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L and there it is right there. It's an application or you can open your finder, navigate to applications, go to the utilities section and then double click terminal and that will open. Now this window looks a tiny bit daunting. Don't worry. It is a little bit at first, but it's not that hard to navigate around at all. It's pretty easy actually. What you have to do is type sudo and what this does is this requests root access to the computer. Um, usually what this does is your computer doesn't really want you tampering around with system files, and I don't doubt it because if you do tamper around with the wrong file, it is dangerous uh, to your computer, um, not so much um, destroying the components or the hardware inside, but you'll mess up something on the software side and you'll have to reinstall your system, uh, which is really bad because you lose data and all that bad stuff. But don't worry, if you follow these instructions, you're going to be just fine. Sudo just says to your computer, hey, I'm experienced, I know what I'm doing, or I'm following that snazzy iPhone guys tutorial. So once you've typed sudo, uh, then type nano. Then I need to type another space and type etc slash hosts. So I'm going to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash hosts. Once I've done that, I'm going to press return. Mine just jumped straight to the file, but for you, it's more than likely going to ask you for your administrator's password. When you enter your admin password, don't worry if the dots don't appear like they usually do on a normal password field. Nothing's going to appear, but you still are typing your password. So even though nothing is displayed when you type a keystroke, just type out your password, press enter, and it will bring you to this window. Once you're in this window, this is your host file. Now this manages a lot of stuff, not just blocking websites, but what we're going to use it for is to block access to this website. Now, the great thing about this is it's uh, easily reversible. Just follow my instructions in reverse order and uh, you can fix everything and it's just fine. All you have to do is just do the exact same thing we're doing now, but instead of add these lines, you'll delete them. But if you see this little gray box here, this is your cursor. You can't navigate through this window with a mouse because it is a command prompt uh, shell. So what you're going to do is just use your arrow keys to navigate here. Go down to the very bottom. I like to add an extra space just for kicks and giggles. I feel as though it's a little bit more organized and I like that system a little bit more. But what you're going to type is 127.0.0.1. .0 .0 now this just blocks incoming and outgoing connections to a specified website from this individual computer. So when I type this, it's not going to block Facebook on all of my computers, just this computer. It's not going to block it on my son's iPod touch. So if you do want to block something entirely from your home network, uh, more often than not, you should access or contact your ISP or internet service provider and tell them the website you want blocked. And they'll block that for you permanently on all of your computers and all of your devices hooked up to your Wi-Fi connection, which is one of the better ways to do it, or you can um, server host, or you can host uh, parental control software on your firewall, which again is a little bit easier than contacting your ISP and you don't need um, to contact them every time you want a site removed. So um, that's a little bit more easier to manage, but that's typically pretty expensive. This is just for this one machine we're working on, but it will work under all user accounts and that's pretty cool as well. So 
What I'm going to do now is press the space bar a few times. You don't have to press it more than, well, you do have to press it once, but I just like to line it up. Again, OCD in action here. I just like to line it up with the rest so it's pretty easy to see. But I'm going to type facebook.com because that's the one I want my kid off of. You could block as many websites as you want. You could block um, Facebook. You could block YouTube. You could block Playboy. You know, if it's a website, you name it. Um, all you have to do to enter the next website is go to zero, do the exact same thing, and then instead of typing Facebook, you'll type the website you would like blocked. So I'll type uh, youtube.com and YouTube will be blocked as well. So I'm going to press enter. And then once I've done that, I'm going to press control O, O as in orange. Once I've typed control orange, um, all I have to do then is press return and it will have saved. So you'll notice that, let me edit it one more time. If you see here in the top right corner, it'll say modified. You'll see control O, this little line down here is gonna pop up, don't worry about that. Once you press return or enter, you'll notice that it is no longer modified, the changes are saved. Once modified is gone, you're set and ready to go. Quit terminal, it's gonna say, hey, would you like to close me? You say yes, close. And you will need to launch Safari once again. Um, if you don't launch Safari once again, Facebook will continue to work as normal, but you'll have to restart your web browser. And this isn't just limited to Safari, it works with Google Chrome and Firefox and any browser that's on your computer, which is nice because Apple's parental controls sometimes can be gotten by with uh, Firefox as well. So if you reopen Safari, you'll notice, oh, Safari cannot connect to the server. Facebook.com is blocked. Now, I, I don't have to type facebook.com slash that snazzy iPhone guy. It can be plain facebook.com and that's blocked. Now, keep in mind, I can access all the other websites I want. I can access Google and every other website except for the ones I defined as blocked. So it is an easy way to block specific access to websites you don't want being accessed. Again, it's no replacement for parental control, but if you'd like to keep the speed of uh, your performance, <laughs> if you'd like to keep the performance of your machine up and you'd also uh, just like to do it the easy way, this is the way to do it. The good thing is it's pretty hard to reverse if your kid doesn't know what he's doing. So, um, you know, you don't have to worry about them figuring this out. Uh, all you have to do to uh, reverse this is again, open terminal, type the exact same thing, sudo, space nano, space or, uh, slash etc slash host. Once I've done that, it will give us access to this again. Again, we need to use the arrow keys to access youtube.com and facebook.com, but I can just uh, start deleting away. Got to get that M out of the way. Would I keep deleting away? And again, you will need to save changes to this by pressing control O. But once I've done that, I press return, modified goes away, and I can try opening Facebook again. We'll open Safari, and you will see that, well, Facebook.com works just as it should. So there you go. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. Hopefully that was of some benefit to you. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.